Hey, good morning, Boulder. It's uh, Jan Scott here, a.k.a. the Unibotter bomber, Ted Kaczynski. Do I look like him? Okay, so speaking of Ted Kaczynski, guess who's coming to see you, Mackey Auditorium, tonight? None other than Edward Snowden. That douchebag is appearing uh, via satellite, I, I guess, and the part about him is, is that he has warrants to see who is hosting him. The show is sold out, and Snowden is wanted by everybody in the Justice Department. He's the personal boyfriend of Putin in Russia. He's a kept young man. And, you know, CU is known for stupidity. Young radical leftists like to invite terrorists like Snowden, Angela Davis, Bobby Seale, all of them known criminals, and CU embraces them. Oh, Edward, you freed the cut. No, he fucking didn't. He caused a lot of people a lot of trouble, and uh, he is no hero. And the fact that CU is having this guy there, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable! What is wrong with them? I know, they're stupid kids and they don't know any better. We'll now go to our legal expert, Tom. How you doing this morning, Tom? I'm doing great. Uh, what do you think about Snowden? Former Navy SEAL, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, and they want to know the other side. They always want to know the strength. CU students are going Yeah. What do you think of Snowden? Good guy, bad guy? Oh, bad guy. <laughs> bad guy, right. He would have gotten you killed if you were a Navy SEAL in, in, in country, right? He got a lot of people killed. Well, so did Putin. Putin. Yeah. Do you think do you think he's like Putin's boy? I mean like in a carnal way. I think they hold hands when they go to dinner. <laughs> Uh, Edward Snowden, good guy, bad guy. <laughs> uh, uh, I think he's probably a bad guy. Probably bad. There you go. It's unanimous here at the gym. Uh, three thumbs down on Edward Snowden. See you, kids. You're so dumb. Next up, Justice Scalia. Next up, Justice Scalia dies, and now Barack Obama has an opportunity to name a new Supreme Court. Justice Scalia, of course, was a conservative, and already the Republicans are arguing on talk radio about, well, there's never been a, uh, a Supreme Court justice nominated in the final year of a presidency, except for uh, FDR, uh, Reagan, and uh, uh, Truman. But the Republicans are out there. Oh, here's the deal. They want to block a Supreme Court nomination by a president, which, of course, first of all, violates the Constitution because the Constitution says the president has to nominate and name a Supreme Court justice, and it's up to the Congress and the Senate to approve him. But the Republicans say they're not going to do it. And I'm telling you, this is really, really great. You want to know why? It will ensure that Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton get in. It will shoot the re all the Republicans right in the f***ing head. Bam! No nomination for the Supreme Court. We're just going to kill ourselves. Boom! <laughs> we'll go now to our expert panel. We'll start with the uh, former burger flipper. <laughs> Bus drivers. What do you think? Supreme Court nomination by uh, President Obama. We need one, right? I really love uh, Justice Scalia. Opportunity to stack the five fourth majority. Yeah. In favor of the liberal progressives. And they're in there for life. Yeah. So, despite the fact that the House and the Senate are obstructionists, yeah. I'm for waiting for a new president. Well, I'm not for waiting because what do we have on the table? We've got abortion on the table, Obamacare on the table, we have voting rights. If we, oh, our other here is our former Navy SEAL. And uh, immigration. Too. Immigration. Yeah. Well, if Trump gets in, he's going to build a wall. <laughs> he's going to have Mexico. Yeah. Oh. And who's going to pay for the wall? They, they, have to, they have to get somebody in there. They can't yeah. wait 10 months, you know, for somebody else to come in there. Well, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you, I mean, would you like to see a, a liberal uh, appointee or a moderate Democrat appointee? I don't see a moderate, but yeah. 
there's people that have gone on the Republican side. We, we can't have these motherfuckers taking, uh, you know, <laughs> rescinding uh, the abortion right, voter rights. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. You, name, name, name a judge. Name a Supreme Court. Name an Asian. I think that's what they're going to do. Well, yeah. And he's good. Well, that's it here from the gym in Boulder, Colorado on Scalia and Snowden. I'm Jan Scott, talk show host, the voice of reason here in Boulder, Colorado.